Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur and 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, last time we uh, had fun at a funeral, <laughs> I got to kill a couple of people, so it was a pretty good funeral. You know, misery loves company and all that. Uh, today, uh, we're done with this little section of the map, so it's time to actually talk to this harmonious Doloroso and then get these little loot items. But I mean, Follow my lead. holy cow, what a cool mystery that was, eh? Let's see if we can get over here without triggering anything. Is this the guy? No, that is not the guy. Is this the guy? It is, in fact, the guy, and we triggered it. The buzzing crowd has closed in on several harried looking individuals. Some of their faces are smeared with fresh blood. The angry cries and twisted faces leave no doubt a massacre is about to take place. Instigator. Uh, just cut their throats already. Uh, what were they thinking letting that ship at f dock at footfall? They're all stricken. Are they talking about my ship? No, no cutting. Uh, <laughs> we get their blood on us, we'll be tainted too. Better burn them. Yeah, you tell them. You point at him and say, no, fuck you. Oh, what the hell is this? Is this a hand? Whose fucking arm is this? Is this a statue? Anyway. Be quiet, you scoundrel. A, pe a priest clad in a simple black raiment cuts through the crowd like a void ship crossing the sky. You dare pass judgment on others? What arrogance to think you have the right. Oh, this is the dude we're going to talk to. God, what is his hand? <laughs> Argenta starts uh, starts at the sight of the elderly priest. That's Reverend Harmonious. Is that how you say that? Her Heronius? I don't know. Anyway, I'm surprised he did. He decided to intervene on the public on the street squabble. Intervene. What's going on here? Watch in silence. Leave the squad without getting involved. Uh, let's intervene. What's going on? Several dozen gazes bore into you. And who are you supposed to be? My brother in Christ. You have no idea. <laughs> uh, I am Wilbur, uh, rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty. The rabbit-razzer's expression changed completely, and he makes a clumsy attempt at a bow, then crumples to his knees. Your lordship, I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry for not recognizing you. You see, it's just it's just that it's your first time on footfall and we didn't know. Terrified, he falls silent. We were just uh, routing out the heresy here. These scrawny ones, they're from uh, the ship that came from the bowels of the Coronas Expanse. They've got the plague there, then mutants. And now they're spreading the rot everywhere that taint. Ooh, yes. Spread my taint. Uh, they're all... Silence! You must be completely out of your minds. A band of woeful, dim-witted... Reprobates? Reprobates? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Who thinks themselves bringers of justice? Uh, who are you to pass judgment on anyone? All you ought to be doing is suffering and repenting to the end of your days. That's a little intense. And what's so wrong with that, Reverend? We just want to put these heretics to death. We're not heretics, the haggard man on the verge of tears. Uh, we're refugees. I swear it on the golden throne. We served the Emporium faithfully until we hung until they hung us out to dry. Where, uh, where were the protesters that were meant to shield the lands of humanity from nightmares? Traitors, traitors and heretics, the lot of them. A murmur runs through the crowd. The people gawk at you and the priest at the wretched group huddling in the center. How tiring. The motley sea of colors that fills this restless crowd is hard to see, hard on the eyes. So many hues, but most of them are acidic yellow streaks of fear. Their red buds swelling. 
ready to burst and paint all who are gathered here. Cassia looks at the crowd of troublemakers wearily, and they shudder at the very sight of her. As for the hearts of those who have been forced to defend themselves, uh, they are shrouded in purplish-black grief, but their words are as transparent as ice that lies at the top of a glacier. But commoners are always deaf to those, to others' suffering, for such is their nature. Interfering with their affairs is hardly worth, worthy of you or me, Wilbur. Well. <sighs> oh, God. Yawn. I will decide that. Address the refugees. There's a serious activation you're spouting. I hope you have proof to back them up. I am the master of Kaiva Gamma, and if these people are my subjects, then I only then I am the only one who can decide what to do with them. I command the onlookers to disperse, as for the rest of you, go to the docks and await further instructions. All onlookers are to return to their homes immediately. The refugees can go to the dock alpha row. Uh, I will speak to you there later. Comply or face the consequences. Nod to the rabble rousers in the crowd. The people before you insult those instated by the throne to be above them, and thus they deserve death. Um, I'm torn between these two. Just tell them to go and fuck off for a bit, and I'll talk to them later, or ask if they have access. I'm just going to tell them to leave. Hey, you lot heard what his lordship said. Get to the docks. 15 experience gains. Rebel Rousers turn to you and bows deeply. Don't you worry none, your lordship. We'll go with these people. We'll watch them and make sure they get to their traps shut about you. And keep their traps shut about you. And then everybody disperses. Now what do you have to say? Jesus Christ, how long is it going to take for everyone to disperse? There we go. A hand is back. Okay. Uh, the arrogance and self-righteous of the malefactor. The priest shaked his head disapprovingly, then his eyes shift to you. I am Reverend Hieronymus Doloroso, head of the Drusian mission here on Footfall. I thank you for stepping in. Please come see me when you have the time. We can talk then. Well, where are you going? I don't know where you're going, sir. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's okay. I've got other shit to do anyway. We still need to get up here and check out these goods. Okay, just some goods. Good. Uh, more goods there. Just another pamphlet. Time is ours, not theirs. Blah, 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 blah. For Imperium lore. Excellence matters. Excellence does indeed matter. What does this do? What does this do? The sight of the cogitator uh, would be enough to break any text priest's heart. The machine is leaning slightly to one side, grimly covered in scrawling, scrawled drawings with frivolous writing scratched here and there on the case. Several keys are missing and the rest are coated with dust. Pascal's respirator lets out a mournful hiss before he says grimly, the right of operation has been repeatedly and blasphemously violated, requesting the identification and punishment of the deplorable acolyte entrusted with caring for this spirit of this machine. Try to repair it. Success. After a series of creaks and moans, the uh, computer's dusty screen lights up on its several lines of text section headings. Praise the Omnissiah. The machine spirit of the computer is uh, grieved but willing to serve. Accompanied by a crackling of bi binaric prayer, Pascal's Macarandites uh, gently place a couple of keys lying on the floor back into place. Uh, section titled Welcome. Screen flickers a few b times before revealing the world uh, uh, text in low gothic. 
In the name of the founder of Footfall Station, conqueror of stars, builder of outposts, and noblest world trader, uh, Parsimius D. Wayne? And on behalf of all his descendants, I welcome you. The computer is installed in order to, uh, on the order of the illustrious Promisius, so that the needy mappy, uh, meaty may tap into the flow of his wisdom. Cast your eyes upon the list of sections and choose what you wish to know. Avalard furrows his brow. Parsinius Dwayne? I've never heard of such a rogue trader house. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think I have either. Whoever this guy is, he sure thought big. Lord Captain uh, per per Parsimius, uh, one of the trailblazes of the Coronis Expanse and the station's founder. I've read about his greed, great deeds. Lord Dwayne, Dwayne uh, was once a colo oh, colonel of the Estrada Militarum, but by his will, later inherited a warrant. He accumulated enough power to gather a small fleet of loyal allies and venture into the and out to conquer the Corona's Expanse. They say Footfall was meant to be his personal palace world, but the construction dragged on for decades and Lord Parsimius eventually died of old age. His enemies instantly tore through Footfall to pieces, tore th Footfall to pieces and turned it into a bastion of humanity we know it today. One that is full of bandits, privateers, hustlers, and rogue traders. Please with herself, Cassie, not slightly to let everyone know that the lecture is over. Well, thank you. About Footfall. Footfall Station has been envisioned by the great uh, Dwayne as a palace in the stars, as majestic as the spirit and mind of its creator. As the year of the computer's is installation, merely a f small fraction of the great Parsimius' design has yet to be made into reality. But already the audacity and grandeur are staggering. Footfall is to become the gateway to the savage and barely explored Coronis Expanse, and a footfall, a foothold for future conquest by the Imperium and the noble Dwayne who ex acts by the Emperor's will. Uh, the computer whirs and blinks, clearly trying to shut down. Can I do this? Yeah. Easy. Turns back on. Sweet. Uh, oh, I was about to hit the next thing, but... Uh, one of the first structures on Footfall was a colossal statue of the Emperor. A whole asteroid was used in the creation of this sculpture, but even its titanic proportions cannot convey the awe that every faithful servant of the Imperium feels before the Master. The statue is in the center of Footfall, Footfall in the same way that the Emperor is at the center of the heart of the Imperium. As construction progressed, new, smaller asteroids are being attached to the statue, their surface serving as a foundation for glorious place, palaces and temples, and their inner tunnels as home for the commoners and rabble. Tell me about his design. Uh, the computer flickers and grunts before displaying a tapestry of text. The great Parsimius Duane intends to conquer the Coronis Expanse and build the most gr grandiose structure which will shine through the ages, praising the name of its creator and it, his descendants. Footfall, the palace in the stars. Footfall, the palace in the stars. Uh, the glory of the great Persimius' deeds will live out on throughout the ages in his grand design. The, the computer hisses and grunts as it tries to clean its insides by spewing out dust and... Uh, detritus? I don't know what that is. That's cracks. Uh, hisses for a while, then the screen flickers once more, shows the words. The great Pars Parsimius Duane intends to conquer. Uh, Pascal's Vox wheezes mournfully. The spirit of the machine is enraged and will perform its function no more. 
I will see to it that the profanes, profaners responsible for its maintenance are marked for servo penance. God damn. Okay, no problem, Pascal. Jesus. Uh, I did see this right here. Tech use. More flyers right there. Hey, that's good. We're just going to be picking up all these pamphlets, bro. Oh, there's more pamphlets? Leaflet, yeah. Okay, well, I think that's it for there. I don't think there's anything else left to do other than go to the rest of Footfall here. Uh, let's just time. explore a little over here, because I don't know if... Oh, look at this. Oh, I don't know where the hell you're going, buddy. Wasn't this it right here? Are you stupid? Everybody come here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just like, what the fuck is he doing? But yeah. Okay, we do that. That enters that. Very good, very good. And we're going to jump over. And Something of interest. Cool. Got some goods here. Ooh, a great sword. Oh. Brutal strike. Look at the cone on that motherfucker. Plus 10% parry. Minus 10 to enemy weapon skill when hit. Oh, that's fucking sick. Commander's module. Whenever an ally under the effect of voice command ability makes an attack during an extra turn, this attack deals an additional damage bonus. Ooh, that's good. Let's see what's this. Ah, uh, that's a dead body. As it should be. Numerous wounds and injuries indicate that the uh, this was a particularly brutal murder. The letters A and V are carved into the victor's shoulder blades. Okay. Well, what the fuck does that do? Uh, let's jump back over. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at that fucking motherfucking... Because he's got this hammer. The thunder hammer. Thunder slam. Super good. 11 to 17. And then this great sword was where... So it does do more damage. It doesn't have a higher cone. It doesn't have the shove, but it does have plus 10% parry and... I think I will take this greatsword. The armor penetration's really good, though, on the hammer. But is that enough to justify it? I don't think it is. Yo, that thing's fucking sick, dude. Yo. Fuck yeah, swinging around, guts. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then... What was the commander's module or monocle? That's a helmet. Acquires iconoclast. The wearer of this helmet gains armor percentage. The helmet also grants a bonus to fellowship equal to the iconoclast rank. Hmm. Do I want this instead? That's pretty good, honestly. How much? So I get a four fellowship bonus from that. And I get quite a bit of armor, actually. 12% armor from that. Hmm. You know what? I don't think I need that, honestly. I think that's okay. So for now... I need to go back here. I need to go. I'm going to level everyone up. Wait, what? Vanguard. Oh, my grand strategist. I don't know what the hell that was. Kill zone stratagem. The stratagem uh, chooses combat tactic area. For one round, all enemies in the area are forced to reroll successful dodge and parry tests. 
against all attacks. Any enemy that suffers damage are left with less than and are left with less than Oh wow. Die immediately. That's insane. That's pretty cool. Overwhelming stratagem. For run around all attacks by allies in the area of afflicted by the overwhelmed effect on the enemy on any enemy that fails a willpower resistance test for one round overwhelmed the creature suffers blah, 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 ballistic skill 25 percent rate of fire and blah 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 weapon skill additional melee attacks and melee creatures have their mp reduced by negative three and range creatures try to get behind cover huh a creature counts as a melee creature if it has at least one melee weapon and this additional effect does not work on some stronger enemies interesting stronghold stratagem allies in the area gain armor percentage cannot be over penetrated gain immunity to being prone and gain deflection against area of attacks Additionally, they do not suffer injuries for receiving damage. That's insane, actually. That could be crazy. Just if you know that you're getting fucked or if someone's like the, the tank, you know, blitz stratagem, uh, all allies within range gain cells, gain ability to move to that area. The movement does not provoke opportunity of attacks and does not spend MP. Damn, that's cool too. Fuck. Combat locust stratagem. Uh huh. Let's see. The targeted area bonuses are doubled. Uh, all other tactic areas are discharged and cannot be used this turn, but can be designated again next round. That's weird. Trench line. Uh, all allies in that area gain cover efficiency and reroll all failed characteristic tests. Additional cover in the area does not suffer any damage. I think I'm going to go with the... Sh um... This one's cool too. Kill zone stratagem or the stronghold stratagem. I think I'll take the stronghold stratagem for now. Just because that can really help with uh the front line. Vanguard. We got bulwark. To the start of the next turn, the Vanguard gains damage deflection against ranged attacks equal to the number of stacks of unyielding beacon on the vanguard additionally the vanguard becomes immune to push or forced movement effects until the next turn defensive stance the vanguard gains parry percentage until their next turn uh, whenever the vanguard parries an enemy's attack they immediately make an opportunity attack with a negative 20 penalty to weapon skill against that enemy wall of rock crete uh, all allies in a three radius cell around them gain temporary wounds. That's pretty good. All affected targets suffer 50% less damage from the next attack. The effect lasts until the start of the Vanguard's next turn. That could be cool. That's a huge area of effect too. Follow main lead. Until the start of the next turn, the Vanguard and their allies gain damage bonus and armor penetration against enemies within a two cell radius around the Vanguard. Ooh, that's really good. Uh, additionally, when the ability is used, all enemy all allies within a two cell radius around the Vanguard gain the, f the following ability, which costs zero AP and two movement points until the start of the Vanguard's next turn. Following, the character can move to any cell adjacent to the Vanguard without provoking opportunity attacks. I think I'm taking that one. That's pretty good. Forced distraction. 
Vanguard chooses an ally. All enemies in the, within a three cell radius around this ally must make a whiz, willpower resistance test with a penalty. Uh, on a failed test, the Vanguard becomes their priority target. Regardless of willpower resistance test results, the chosen ally who does not provoke attacks of opportunity from these enemies can shoot in melee range and move as if not within range of opportunity attacks. That's pretty cool. Provocation. Vanguard forces an enemy in their melee range to immediately attack the Vanguard. All of the Vanguard's allies who are wielding melee weapons and adjacent to the enemy make an opportunity attack against the enemy. The enemy suffers fellowship bonus, more damage from these attacks of opportunity and has a penalty to parry and dodge. That's not that good. I will take the fall of my lead. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. And then, uh, you know what the perfect timing? All allies affected by brace for impact gain cover penetration. Also permanently gains 15%. Cover penetration. Mm, don't really use cover penetration because he doesn't really use, you know, attacks. I mean, uh, uh, guns, you know. Uh, do not suffer negative effects of melee superiority for the entire combat. That's pretty good. I can give melee superiority to all my other people. Good. Why do I keep yawning, dude? Holy hell. I think. Ooh, maybe we can take strength. His strength just straight up uh, gives us weapon proficiency, doesn't it? Or not weapon proficiency, but weapon skill, I guess it's called. Increase wounds by half of the character's level rounded up. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. I wonder if that's retroactive or if it's just a one-time thing or if I should take that as my last level, you know? No, I think I will take the, uh... The strength training. Because that gives me more damage. Very cool. Argenta, you're a bounty hunter. Let's see. Claim the bounty. The bounty hunter makes a free single attack with a selected weapon. This attack always hits, does not end the bounty hunter's movement, but deals only a percentage of the bounty hunter's usual damage. After each third kill enemy killed by claim the bounty, the bounty hunter receives plus one charge of hunt the, down the prey. Prey, if claim the bounty kills the target marked as prey, the bounty hunter receives 2 AP. Call the bold. Holy shit, this is a big one. Bounty Hunter next attack this turn will have an additional effect. Deals an additional ballistic skill bonus. I'm guessing that's what that means. Damage. Uh, enemy's armor will be reduced by percentage against all of the Bounty Hunter's attacks until the end of the combat. If the enemy's armor against this attack is below 20%, the enemy's dodge is also decreased by percentage. Against all bounty hunter attacks until the end of combat, the bounty hunter's next attack this turn deals an additional damage instead. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Honestly, that's number one in my book right now. Uh, next attack during this turn will have 100% over penetration and armor penetration. That's cool. Ensnare the prey. Bounty Hunter sets a trap on a free cell in a 10 cell radius around them. Any enemy entering the two cell radius around the trap activates the trap. Each enemy in a two cell radius around the trap suffers direct damage. Must pass an agility, agility resistance test with a penalty or become immobilized until the end of next turn, enemy's next turn. Bounty Hunter gains agility bonus MP at the beginning of their next turn. Interesting, hot on the trail. Bounty Hunter designates the enemy in a tensile radius as trailed. 
and finishes the turn. Trailed, all enemy all allies gain 70% chance to hit against the trailed enemy. 15% if the enemy's difficulty tier is more or equal to 5. If an ally kills a trailed enemy, the bounty hunter gains an additional turn after the ally's turn. All With all AP and MP remaining from the moment the bounty hunter uh, uses hot, used hot on the trail. Huh. That's interesting. Bounty hunter gains an additional MP. The cooldown for hot on the trail is reset. That's really interesting. I like that a lot, actually. And it's zero AP to use? Ooh. Yeah, that's interesting. Raid. Until the bounty hunter's next turn, whenever an ally attacks a target marked as prey, this deals an additional percentage additional damage and gains half of the bounty hunter's current bonuses, the critical hit chance and critical damage granted by hunt down the prey. I'm going to take hot on the trail. That's super cool. Pascal, you're also a bounty hunter. I think I'll also take hot on the trail. Or maybe I should take call the bald. No, I feel like Call the Ball would be better on Argenta. Yeah, I think I'll take Hot on the Trail. That does a lot more for everyone else. Master Tactician. Oh, holy shit. Inspire. Target gains 5% damage and 5% additional damage for every 10 stacks of tactical advantage and Master Tactician has... The Master Tactician loses half of their tactical advantage, stacks rounded up. This effect stacks and lasts until the end of combat. Ooh, that's really good. If the target uses a heroic deck before the beginning of the Master Tactician's turn, next turn, they gain 25 momentum. That is so fucking crazy. Just a straight damage buff and... Especially if she has, like, a fuck ton of those stacks. Damn, that could be good. I, I don't even want to read the arrest, honestly. Lynchpin. Uh, the target ally of the Master Tactician gains plus one resolve for every five stacks of tactical advantage the Master Tactician has. But the Master Tactician loses half of their stacks. Round it up. Uh, this effect stacks and lasts until the end of combat. So this one just gives resolve. Uh, at the beginning of the Master Tactician's next turn, Master Tactician gains stacks of advantage, tactical advantage equal to percentage of all momentum the target gains instead of the usual 20%. Strong point, the target gain, the target gains two plus two temporary wounds and one plus additional temporary wound for every two stacks of tactical advantage. Uh huh. Until the beginning of the next turn. Whenever the target loses temporary wounds from damage, the target gains momentum equal to the number of temporary wounds lost. So, this is very, this archetype, the Maxer Tactician, is very much uh, using the uh, resolve and momentum and all that shit. Uh,. Assign objective. Master Tactician marks an enemy. If the enemy is killed by one of the ma Master Tactician's allies before the beginning of the Master Tactician's next turn, the ally gains resolve momentum uh, and plus five to all characteristics until the end of combat. The bonus to all characters does not stack. Fervor. Master Tactician suffers direct damage equal to 20% of their maximum wounds. Uh, gains Tactician's Resolve. Stacks of... Da, 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 da. Resets the cooldown of those two skills until the end of the Master Tactician's turn. Okay, that doesn't seem too good. Finish the job. Uh, can only be used on enemies with the Unfinished Business effect. This effect is applied to enemies which were attacked by the Master Tactician's allies, but not by the Master Tactician, uh, and have less than 50% of their maximum wounds remaining. The Master Tactician immediately attacks the target with a single shot or strike. 
This attack does not count towards the attacks per turn limit, dealing half of the weapon's maximum damage with an additional ballistic skill bonus. Definitely take an Inspire. That shit's so cool. Uh, and then Adira, you're also a bounty hunter, and I will also take... Yeah, I will also take Hot on the Trail, because that's super good. Okay, cool. Glad that little jump across the way was enough to level us up. <laughs> and I think that's all we have, right? Oh, this guy's still here. We actually do I'll want to go talk to him. To the stars. Where the hell did he go? Is it him? No. Oh, he's up here. You sneaky son of a bitch. Uh, can I just talk to you? Okay, cool. This is the Reverend... I'm just going to call him Harmonious. <laughs> um, the man with the face so drawn, it appears to be made of nothing but skin and bone fixes its, his unblinking bird-like eyes on you. The priest's simple black clothes have not, uh, have next to no adornments and they, they do not uh, do nothing to mask his unhealthly gauntness. In a cracked voice, he says, the Emperor protects. Throw him a couple of coins. A holy man, are you? Here some elms for you. Uh, the Emperor protects, Reverend. But he only protects those who are pure of heart. Do not... Th Do you think yourself one of them? Be leery of the convictions of yours. Be leery of this conviction of yours. Many who have risen to the pinnacle of faith have fallen from it into the embrace of pride, most degenerate. And you must be the young Von Valencius. Uh, that name carries weight, and it is a burdensome one. For the repentant, a reputation suggests that Theodora encumbered it uh, with many a transgression. I wonder, will you seek to shed them, or will you carry them onward, picking them al up along the way like ripe fruit and savoring their sweet poison? Dogmatic persuasion, eh? Oh, I definitely have that. Heretical. I'm probably going to do that. Um, I have heard many... What the hell? Oh. Uh... I've heard many exalt the deeds of your intellect, which are what exactly? Your outstanding intellect is shown beyond the bounds of your home system. Is that just like... Okay, that didn't do a shit. I wonder if that's just like my actual intelligence stat? Uh, and call the wisdom, call your wisdom a gift from the emperor himself. Fools, they do not, do they not know that the seeds of heresy sprout quickly in the enlightened mind? Understand, standing only erodes the will to act. I put faith in the emperor. Keep this attitude. <laughs> Keep up this attitude and you'll be uh, featuring my next confession. Um... Uh, you're saying Theodora was a transgressor? I have no doubt about me. I'm a completely re re reprobate and inverent, inverterate, miscreant, whose existence is afford to the Emperor. Uh, we're going to do this one, Persuasion Dogmatic. And he's going to do it back to us. Very cool. Ayo, cool. I wonder if we can get all the... Like, we can be a heretic and iconoclast and dogmatic all at once. That'd be insane. Uh, persuasion test successful. He gives you a scrutinizing look. Then his tone softens. Well, then, be twice as diligent. For the sector will seize any chance to test your faith. For this sector. 52 experience for dogmatic. He looks at Argenta, who is standing nearby, and his voice softens slightly. Greetings, sister. 
I congratulate you on your return. Was your pilgrim fruitful? It was, Reverend. Let it be known to you that Theodora von Valicia's ship was attacked by servants of the archenemy who appall the heart of any righteous soul. She says, nearly hissing with fury. And not all of them met a fitting end. Some fled, and more than that. Their blasphemous words clearly pointed to this attack being part of a larger design. Riven Harmonious, <laughs> I wish to join the esteemed rogue trader's crew and help protect the Von Valencia's dynasty from the forces of the arch enemy. I am, uh, divesting? I am divesting myself of the responsibility of guarding the footfall reliquary. Uh, I would add something to that if doing so weren't beneath me. Sister Argenta stood by my side during the assault on my ship, and I could use her assistance going forward. He nods in thought. Follow the call of your soul, sister. The footfall reliquary will be preserved even without your contribution, as it was in all the years preceding your arrival. He smiles sadly. I know that is... I know what it is that calls you to follow the rogue traitor, Sixar Argenta. You seek combat, for it helps you to forget how hollow and worthless our lives truly are. It offers the illusion of meaning. Perhaps you will relinquish this illusion one day, or perhaps you will die before that day comes. Regardless, I wish you luck on your new path. But before you start on that path towards your new destiny, I have a request to make of you and your companion. Many among my flock are from the poorest, most dispositioned people on Footfall. They have brought me troubling news from Footfall's shadow quarters in the darkest corners where the Legion's wardens do not venture. Taint is taking root. I know, I'm waiting for them to open up the gates so we can go in. Uh, footfall is consumed by profanity, but even here, true heresy serving the Archman enemy is a rarity. The cultists who now dwell in the shadow quarters mark their abodes with a sun inscribed in blue and gold and perform strange rituals in secret. The weak find solace in believing their, these reports to be rumorous, but I well know that evil lurks all around us. And I wish to see it, to see retribution. I come across heresy surprisingly often these days. Uh, why don't you tell the liege of this matter? We will verify this rumor. Uh, we'll verify the rumor. For the heretic's den, okay. With great pleasure, Argenta puts her hand on the stock of her weapon. I almost wish for the rumor to be true. My heart yearns to battle some heretics. This is where I bid you goodbye, sister. Noble, Noble Wilbur, is there more you wish to ask about me? Ask me about. What are you doing here on Footfall? What am I doing in this den of blasphemer, blasphemers, pagans, and vilest of souls? You mean to say? Well, Footfall is the first and last stop in the Chronos Expanse. It is the point of arrival for those who have just started on their path. And it is also where those who re are reaching its very end return, their souls wounded and bleeding. I embrace both the former and the latter so that they may cast an honest eye over their impurity. Furthermore, rumors from across the entire sector amass on footfall. If I hear crewmen whispering about a, a reclaimed shrine, world or expressing desire to carry emperor's light into the darkness among the stars i help my flock in their sacred duty devoted trailblazers needs assistance both spiritually and materially tools equipment even garments and simple everyday items anything that might help pilgrims on their long journey and during the first days of their harsh frontier life is worth its weight in gold to us May any help you offer to the effort 
of gathering such things be blessed. The path of true believers leads into darkness the ser to search the worlds that have lost his radiance, steeped in depravity. Blessed are the deeds of those who give themselves into the void and the warp in hopes that their actions might bring light into the darker reaches of the expanse and deliver a previously barren world into the Imperium's service. Harmonious is silent for a few seconds, and all the more bitter it is is the re realization that not all brave souls will succeed in their mission. Footfall still awaits news from their Wastelander Wayfarer, Wasteland Wayfarer, an ancient arc of ships, ancient arc of a ship headed for distant stars. Her last apothecic, astropathic message was sent from beyond the Cinerous Malfectum. Uh, and the stars have kept their fate secret since. Footfall is still waiting for news on the ancient uh, wasteland warfare. Okay. I bear another darker duty. The expanse is filled with the tainted creations of unholy heretics. These insidious objects are a danger to the soul, but I know what to do with them. Should you on your travels come upon dangerous corrupted objects, bring them to me and the reward for your vigilance will even be even more generous. The Darusian mission has much more to share with the rogue trader. Oh, so that kind of tells me what they want to trade, you know, like what they're looking for. Hold on, I gotta take a drink, Jesus. Mm. Okay. Is it true that the pirate Denz Bilardo was a Parashir Shiner? Well, I don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> and that he endowed the Darusian with donations. It is over the course of his life that Retrobate uh, had burdened his soul with many vile and egregious acts. His confessions were akin to the grand uh, catechism, listening humankind's inanimate vices and abnormalities. Uh, it was all the more painful for him to realize that of all the heinous acts he had committed, none, not one had been forgotten by the emperor. Dins Bilardo was afraid of death and that which would await him after. He hoped to atone for his misdeeds, yearned to convince, if not the emperor, then himself at least, that he had been more than a conscious speck of malignant mold his entire life. Everyone deserves a chance of redemption. I hope his soul now burns in the bright, as bright as his victims did. To accept charity from even, even from pirates and murderer is unbecoming of a servant of the emperor. A sentimental old man trying to buy absolution for his tumultuous youth. How pathetic. Everyone deserves a chance of redemption. And it is true for miscreants above all others. The greater the transgression, the more miraculous and wondrous the repentance. I'd like to take a look at what the followers of St. Darius have to offer me. Let me see. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. So I can sell all my shit here. Only guess all that. Yeah, let's see what they have here. Uh, let's actually get all this shit now that I know that I can. Imperial scroll. What does this do? Oh, it's a item. It's a it's a accessory. The scroll grants the owner a bonus to Imperium lore. Okay, it's not that cool. Bloodhound staff. A navigator staff. Ooh, a new navigator staff. Devastating. Six. 
The first use of an attacking navigator power per turn does not set the power cooled on cooldown and does not count towards the attack limit per turn. Oh! The second use of the power or the re or the use of a different attacking navigator power on the same turn deals an additional plus six damage to all targets and six direct damage to the navigator. Oh. Okay, so if I can take the hit, I can do another attack. Yo, that's sick. Give me that. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Militant's cloak. Where's first melee attack in combat? Cannot be parried or dodged. That's pretty cool. Elite chain sword. Very cool. Sanctified staff. Sanctic powers. Emperor's wrath. Damn, that's cool. Cloak of retribution. Some grenades. A heavy bolter. Six to nine. It's not that good. Power claymore, which we just got for what's his face. I'm actually just going to focus on what I can get here. So just the, the heavy bolter is what I can go up to. I can get these. I don't really feel like that's all that necessary right now. So I think maybe I'm just going to hold off. Dark visionary hood. This hood grants the wearer a plus 10 bonus to willpower and 15% damage to psychic and navigator powers, but inflicts a 10% penalty to weapon and ballistic skill. That's really good for her. Ooh, that's really good for her. Uh, okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, I'll hold off on anything here. So that's cool. Let me go back here. We here we shall oh. prevail. Uh, let me get everyone again and talk to him again. Uh, can we move our conversation to a place more befitting the people who are our rank? I have a question about faith. Tell me about yourself. I have a question about faith. My sermon planted the seeds of faith in the heart of another rogue trader once. In Cyndia Shorta. Uh, perhaps you are destined to become my second fledgling. Uh, we know about the Emperor. I really don't care about any of this, honestly. Uh, what is the proper way to worship the Emperor? The Emperor's servants, who are they? Who is the enemy of the Imperium? Tell me about her. Thank you for the explanation. Actually, tell me about the other rogue trader. Have you heard of Spice Chorda, Pirate, Blasphemer, Xenophile, and Egregious Apostate? Incinerators are air and a rarity among rogue traders. The protection of the Holy Warrant typically leads to a, the swift atrophy of consi uh, conscience and pious dread, but not in her case. Or his case. I don't know if it's a dude or a guy. Yeah, it's a her. Uh, she relentlessly hunts down pirates and firebrands and brings rebellion colonies to repentance, establishing strict discipline. The weight of her wrath is great indeed. The colonies she punishes are grinded with orbital rings of heretic corpses as a warning to the survivors. As her personal confessor and guide, I find no end to the joy her triumphs in faith bring me. Jesus Christ. Since when is orchestrating massacres a sign of virtue? They aren't massacres. This is a war of on apostasy and treason. And in a war, she is inflicted grievous wounds upon the wicked. Okay, thank you for your explanations. Uh, tell me about yourself. Neither my past nor my present hold any secrets, but take heed when gazing into the, my heart, for many dark thoughts work, work lurk within. Uh, what's troubling your heart? Bad omens, dark times have come. Ships from the Imperium barely appear in the Coronis Expanse anymore. The Footfall Shadow Quarters taint thrives, and the people here are corrupt enough to succumb to it gladly. Rumors around the Expanse say that the accursed Xenos have grown bold and are rearing their heads. They attack ships and settlements, walk under the sun of Imperial worlds like kings instead of cowering in the shadows. 
what next? What adversaries await us in such disgrace is happening already? If such disgrace is happening already, he shakes his head sternly. There are worshippers on footfalls about Xenos, the cured enemies of humanity, cursed enemies of humanity. There's more and more talk about how poorly things are going in the expanse these days, it seems. I can't take two steps without hearing some peasant pontificating on the matter. Humph. <laughs> Even if it is as dire as they say, the Von Valencius realm will not crumble under the blows of its fate. No matter how devastating. Chin up, Lord Captain. This is no time to lose heart and lament your lot. Not only is your hope false, it is also dangerous. Among his servants, there are have been people of greater integrity who sullied themselves in an attempt to rise above the rest. Okay, and I don't care about your past. Let's take our leave. Thank you very much. Very cool. Well, Argenta is now officially a party member, it seems. A hundred percent, which is excellent. Victory awaits. I think we're all done here. Oh, lore, 95 percent. Over. A little more XP for us. Is this where we came in? I don't know. Is this to the rest of Footfall? What does the other entrance say? To the Legion's Palace. Okay, so this is where we came in. Oh, that's right. I came in and I went up here immediately. Okay, so let's actually head over to the Legion's Palace. Oh, let's unpause the game. I didn't know I paused, paused it. Uh, right here is where we want to go. Looks like they're not letting anybody else through, but maybe I can just walk on in. Seems uh, so. Because Baraka trades Xeno artifacts on footfall. They're fairly blatantly at that. And the Ordo Xenos is in no hurry to rectify the situation. Okay, very cool. All right, well, I'm going to call it there for today. I've done a ton of reading. Holy shit, my throat is killing me. <laughs> um, very cool. We... God, what the hell did we just do? <laughs> we finished up all the loot. We got to disperse those people. Maybe I should go back to the docks and talk to them about, uh, maybe I can have them join me. Who knows? Maybe that'll give me more, um, profit factor. <laughs> I'm all about the profit factor. Uh, yeah. So next time we're finally going to be heading to the Legion's palace and talk to him and see what's going on there. And then hopefully after that, that triggers the, uh, hopefully that'll trigger the time passing kind of bullshit in order to, oh, well, you know what? That funeral actually passed time, I remember. So maybe that was enough time for them to open up the quarantine section. If not, this definitely will. So. Yeah, we're definitely going to be going to see the Liege next time then. I'll see you in the next one.